All right, while I'm here, I'm also gonna go ahead and clean this garbage out of there a little bit and spray fluid film in there so this door will never rust. Doors are in amazing shape. Okay, so everything is fluid filmed. We're gonna go ahead and start installing the seal back. Very simple, just push it in. Same thing was done with the rear doors, all fluid filmed, and I'm going to install this back. The task is to replace front brake rotors and brake pads and the ball joints as well, they're bad, so that's what we will be working on. Caliper is removed. So the brake pads, they were not that horrible yet, but just want to change these brakes. Install new ones because the rotor has, has a ridge actually right here on the inside. It's not good. I'm going to re-lube up all these uh, pins. Everything is looking amazing here. Bearing is good. I just, if you guys remember, I was... You know, adjusting it and tightening it um, and lubricating it too. Had to add a bunch of new grease to it. It's good. So now I'm gonna clean some of this corrosion up, add some copper paste and install a new rotor. Fresh grease. Okay, do the same with that one. So before installing the brakes, um, I decided to just uh, remove the strut right here on the bottom. And that will give me access to, the, uh, access to that ball joint right there a lot better. And yeah, just be careful with all these wires and brake hose. Make sure nothing is kinked and all that. And it's a crazy windy night tonight. So I'll have fun working on this car. But anyways, I'm going to remove this bolt and nut and separate the knuckle from that ball joint and then I'll have to press out the ball joint. All right, so the ball joint uh, is almost separated from the knuckle. And then after I do that, I'll put the knuckle right here and I'm going to start replacing that ball joint. Have to, it's a press in style, so I have to press it out and press new one in. All right, there's still not no tension. Everything's out of the way. Now I'm going to have this ball joint. The boot is ripped, as you can see. Not good. So, time to replace this bad boy. Well, these ball joints are actually crazy. Like, they're tight, so you really have to use the like the C-clip like this. Just like a press-out pressing tool. And uh, other than that, I mean, it's... Yeah, it kind of sucks because I had to jack up the control arm like all the way up almost because there was no space and I had to start digging into the ground because there was literally no space. So now I was able to somewhat secure this and I'm just turning this and it's pretty tight. So, but that's, that's how you do it. I mean, I tried hammering on top of the ball joint with, you know, you're going to have a bunch of sockets and stuff that would fit. Still, it wouldn't go. <laughs> It was, it's just super tight. Okay, finally got the ball joint out. And it was a pain. As you can see, it was rusty in there too. Um, and it's original Mercedes. Crazy. So this is a new ball joint. And then we're adding a bunch of grease to it. Just took off the boot and we're about to install the boot back on. All right, ball joint is all ready to go. Just so you know, this is not ripped. This is just part of the rubber mold right here. And uh, yeah, all the clips are back, ready to install this guy back. And uh, this is usually facing that way. So the middle, because the bolt goes through it. And uh, before doing anything, I'm gonna put grease right here. I already cleaned this whole uh, area right there. 
and uh, just have to grease this baby up right here. And now we are ready to install this guy. It's just gonna, gonna go like that. And yeah, I'll use a little bit of a hammer and then I might have to use the uh, installation tool. We'll see. And this is the setup for pressing it in. Okay, it's a new ball joint right there. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but it's how we have to do it. Have to replace those, you know, original ball joints from 1989. Well, finally, I was able to press this thing in. It was a pain because you also have to use the in this you know installation clamp otherwise there's there's another way you can't really hammer it in it's it's a really tight fit it's crazy and i had to use a 36 milli uh, millimeter socket so some of the cups did not work so make sure when you're doing this job you have a lot of different cups and adapters and whatnot so <laughs> a lot of fun all right it's the ball joint and like I said before, this is just part of the rubber. This is not torn or anything like that. Okay, so everything here is looking amazing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this knuckle back on. All right, everything is ready to go. Uh, almost, except the brakes. I'm about to install new brake rotor right there. And I'm going to install it right here. And everything else is already tightened up. Just have to install these wires back onto the strut. And it's awesome. There's the ball joint right there. Brand new. Amazing. All right. Everything is reinstalled. Except for these wires. I still have to install them. But new brake pads. A new rotor on this side. Also screws back on. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is another day. As you guys know, I replaced uh, a ball joint on this side and we also replaced the rotor and brake pads on this side. And today I have to do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna jack it up right now. I'm gonna start working on it. Uh, it's a little bit of a rainy day as you can see here in Washington, but it's one of my favorite states in the United States and I love it so much. There's a beautiful 190E right there. Not beautiful, but soon to be beautiful 190E right there in the background. But today my focus is this, on this amazing W124. So let's go ahead and start working on it. On this side, this brake disc does not feel good. So what I think happened is whoever changed the brake pads last, because they're still okay, there's still meat left on the brake pads but i think whoever replaced them last they didn't replace the rotors because the rotors have a ridge and they're just not the best looking so i just decided to go ahead and change all of that and also these sway bar bushings the four pieces are going to be getting changed as well uh and then i have to change the ball joint on this side it's also ripped as a ripped boot boot so um that will be getting changed as well. about to press out the old ball joint. See what the setup looks like. So I don't know where this whole toolkit is made, but looks like the German uh, ball joint does not want to give up. It started moving finally, but 
look what it did to the cup <laughs> the cup is like it started bending it's crazy how tight this thing is i'm using both wrenches to turn this it's crazy okay here's the ball joint it's like i was telling you all original they've never been changed nothing has been changed in this car um and yeah take a look at this uh adapter cup it got really messed up from pressing that stuff in that's crazy here's a brand new ball joint and i had it apart before and i added a bunch of more a bunch more grease to it and I reassembled the boot back everything is ready right here all cleaned up and greased up we're gonna press this new ball joint in All right, the ball joint is all pressed in. Nice, boot is amazing. We're gonna put some grease here and start installing this knuckle back onto the ball joint. All right, guys, the ball joint is all tightened up right there. Now I can start installing the strut onto the knuckle and install the brakes and we're done. Make sure you guys check your ball joint, your suspension components, really, really important. As you can see, this ball joint was super bad. So that's why it's a good idea that you know i'm replacing both of them and make sure when you do the ball joints i would really really recommend replacing both of them actually you know just to eliminate anything uh just literally just do everything at once and you never have to worry about it ever again for a long time at least so and make sure you use high quality parts all right because i always whenever i work on these cars whatever even you know some japanese cars whatever i always use some high quality parts that's really really important don't use some stupid chinese garbage that will never last at all go ahead and install the disc brake everything here is ready to go all tightened up last thing is the brakes always enjoying beautiful weather amazing weather no matter what like i mean sometimes it's windy sometimes it's raining but i still love washington state and super happy to work on these amazing machines and make them amazing again